Hello, in this video we will learn how you can simulate half wave rectifier in console multiphysics. So let's say you have a input AC wave and then when it passes through a diode we know from our basic physics theory that the output wave will look something like this with one of half uh, being rejected and the other half being passed. So we'll follow the same principle in our model and try to simulate our result. So the circuit will look something like this. We have a AC voltage. Then we will have a resistance which will act like a load. Then we will have a diode. And then we have a circuit which is like this. And we can add a resistance and a ground. Now if we name the nodes, remember that in console we have to name the nodes of each of the component. So this will be 1, this will be 2, this is 3 and then 1 is connected to 4. So these are our nodes of the circuit. Let me mark with orange. Now let us follow this circuit and we will jump on to console. Now let us open console and follow this circuit and try to recreate this model. Now at first let us right click in the file name and then let us add a component. Now after we add a component that is we have added a Z2D component because we are not using multiphysics and for electric circuit module we can work on 0D component because it does not involve any geometry etc. So in the component selected let us go on to physics now we'll go to add physics and then inside of ACDC let us select electric circuit and click on add to component. Now we have added our physics. Now to add the various component of the circuit as you can see the circuit beside we will go on and then create the voltage source. Similarly let us add a resistor or diode and one more resistor. We'll rename resistor 1 as load. Now let us set up one by one. So the voltage source will be named as 1 2 which is fine. The resistor that is the load will be 2 and 3 and the diode and the nodes of the diode is connected from 3 to 1 and the final resistor is connected from 1 to 4 and finally the ground is connected to 4. Let us increase the resistance of the second resistor to some high value because it is connected to the ground. Now we have set up our model. The next step is to add a study. We will go on to study. Then click on add study. Right click on time dependent and click on add study. After you have added your study in the model builder, you can select time as millisecond and then choose the corresponding time. But before that, let us change our voltage source to a sine source and the voltage amplitude to be 5 and frequency we can take around 30 because we are studying in milliseconds. So 30 is fine and then let us study till 100 millisecond in the step of 0.1 millisecond. Now to study we have to click on compute and our simulation is done. Now to see the plot we have to click on results, right click on results and click on 1D plot group. Inside of 1D plot group, click on global. Now to add your y-axis data, click on add expression. Now 
go on to electric circuit device v1 click on voltage across device v1 that is your input voltage now click on plot to plot your input voltage now click again to add expression go on to electric circuit device d1 that is the diode voltage and click on voltage across device d1 now click on plot again to update the plot now we see we have the input voltage which is a full wave and the output voltage which is the output of the half wave rectifier now we can go on to color and style scroll down we can increase the width of the line to view it properly and now we have our final result so this is how uh, we can quickly simulate few basic circuits uh, in console hope you liked it if you do please do subscribe to our channel um, and also i have a course on the electric circuit module which go a little bit deeper uh, if you want you can check it out i'll link it in the description below thanks for watching and take care